Kids Club. Up next, Ben loves space. Ben, 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 Ben. Ben loves space. I'm Ben, and I love space. I love space, and I love space. In this episode, we'll be exploring stars. Since the beginning of time, humans have been interested in stars. Look, these scary angel babies are interested too. Go angel babies. I grew up in an orphanage and was the ugliest child there. No one wanted to spend time with me, so I looked to the stars for companionship. These big burning balls of gas would watch over me, the same way I imagined a mommy or daddy would. The stars kept me company on the nights I felt most lonely. They'd listen to me and would never call me Hot Dog Face, which is a nickname the more popular orphans gave to me. I'd look up at the bright, twinkling stars and ask them questions like, How far away is the moon? Which planet is a healthy size, and which planet would be considered a big fat one? How could anyone abandon a child that had the same eyes and facial features as them? <sighs> I found out the answers to many of these questions, but one question from my childhood still lingers. Could the stars be proud of the person that I grew up to be? In order to find out, I went to see an astrophysicist. Phys astrophysicist. Dr. James Good. Dr. Good, what is a star? Hmm. Well, Ben, stars are bright spheres or balls of plasma that are held together by their own gravity. I think everybody at home would like to know if a star would ever, scientifically speaking, want to hang out with me. What? Oh, you're making a joke about, like, star as in celebrity. That's very clever, Ben. That's good. No, you're wrong. I was referring to the bright balls of plasma that you defined earlier. Do you think, in your opinion, that... Two stars could watch over a child's growth and then come to care for it and maybe even love it the same way parents would? Um, no, I mean, n no, stars are inanimate objects, Ben. Of course. But how much do we know about the human body in actuality? Is it possible that two people could transcend their mortal forms and turn into stars? Or, in science speak, for you, bright balls of plasma gas that are also sentient? I mean, I... Logically speaking, if the human woman turning into a star was also pregnant at the time, then they would have to leave the non-star human baby back on Earth, right? Because if I'm doing my research correctly, humans can't live in the vacuum of space. It's too cold and there's no air. So, actually, leaving and abandoning a child in an orphanage about 19 years ago was actually an act of love, correct? Dr. Good, I'm gonna cut to the chase. Could my parents be stars? No. No. It's impossible. Sorry. But let's just... Well, let's just say... Let's just say that they are balls of plasma. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Do you think that my star mommy and star daddy could be proud of the person that I grew up to be? I don't know how to answer that without maybe hurting your your feelings so i'm gonna well pass on that one <laughs> well it doesn't look like i'll be getting an answer to that lingering question one day i will die and it's my hope that my soul shoots out of my corpse into the cosmos and then i'll become a star boy star. and then my star mommy and star. star daddy will let me live with them i think our star house is somewhere out there on the next episode, we explore Jupiter and its many moons. How can one planet be so greedy? <laughs> Do you have parents? Mm-hmm. Still alive, and I'm huh. quite a bit older. Sorry. Shouldn't... Why would I say that?